So tonight we're camping at Cracker Barrel for the very first time. Because this is our first time doing this, we're going to share our experience with you guys, as well as the seven unwritten rules to camping in parking lots like this one. Okay, we are currently on the road to Missoula, and tonight we're gonna be sleeping at Cracker Barrel. We've been really excited about going here for a while. Hey, Lloyd. Ever since we started looking into RVing and where to stay, Cracker Barrel seems to be a really popular place for people to stay overnight. I've never had Cracker Barrel. In fact, didn't even know what it was until a month ago. The food looks awesome, like really old school, like dinery American. So we love that. We're really excited about it. So we're going to stay there and just see what it's all about. Do you think we need to call ahead? No, surely not. They have designated parking spots here for RVs and trailers. Don't park like sideways along like four or five parking spots and take all their spots because if it gets busy, they might get upset and tell you to move on. That looks so good. I haven't even been inside yet, I like the look of this. Oh, there's a candy store in here? How cool. What's old man's name? Bob Ross. Bob Ross. <laughs> Dishwasher magnet. What does that mean? Oh, it means that you put it on when they're clean. We don't have a dishwasher, so I wouldn't know how to use that. What's this? Soap? Bush. Bush soap? I used to drink that as a teenager. <laughs> Awful. It's actually scary. <laughs> Did I get you? Yeah. <laughs> Buff baby. <laughs> oh, a mustache. Cute. Stretch Armstrong. Wow, that's like 90. And they got Etch a Sketch. I remember Etch a Sketch, and I remember this guy from Toy Story. These three used to be called sock and boppers. Sock and boppers. And every Christmas you'd get them and they would last a day. This is like a kid's dream shop. Yeah. Oh, we actually need that. <laughs> we do, don't we? Yeah. $7 on a piece of silicon? What? Never seen that before. Me either. I don't know about that. Do you think it just tastes like cheese? No. Surely not. They look kind of gross. I know. Let's get them. <laughs> Where do we start? There's way too much to choose from, and there's too many things that I want to eat. We made the mistake, we didn't know that it was non-alcoholic here, and we wanted to come in and have a beer first, so now we're having dinner really early. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> well, I skipped lunch so I could have a big dinner, so that's fine by me. You couldn't do anything after eating breakfast here, right? <laughs> no. Jesus. <laughs> I'd be done for the day. I'm looking at this fried chicken. It comes with four pieces and two sides and biscuits. Am I getting that? Or a fried steak? You're gonna have to pick, honey. It's tough. We just learned that there's bottomless refills, so we're trying to drink as much as we can. <laughs> it's so good. Look at the size of this meal. <laughs> Why is it called chicken fried chicken? Can somebody explain that? <laughs> Why does it say chicken twice? She said it's because something to do with chicken fried steak. Why do they call it chicken fried steak? It's good, but I'm happy I didn't get that. That's not my taste. You don't like delicious things. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Not my favorite. Put cheese on me. A little cornbread, it's so cute. Do you wish you got this now? Oh my God, that's so good. Not this one? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. A few things I like about it here. The serves are massive. The drinks are bottomless. And the server, when you finish, just brings out the bill and you pay it on the way out. You don't have to wait for anything. 
everything's really quick. This <laughs> is so much left over. <laughs> it's the biggest serves. We could have shared it. <laughs> we should have. Now we got lunch for tomorrow though. <laughs> We're just not used to American like portions yet. We're used to like small Aussie serves where usually we would never share a meal. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, just on the way out then, we asked if we were able just to stay parked and sleep here for the night. Cashier said it was all good, so that just brings us to our next unwritten rule, which is just letting sort of somebody know that you're there <laughs> um, and making sure that it's okay. I was honestly worried they were gonna say no, and then we we're gonna have to find somewhere else to park, which would have sucked. Yeah. We got lucky and we found a spot right next to the grass, under the tree, and some shade. It's an RV spot. Bear can come out and go to the toilet or have a walk around and I don't think it's going to be very noisy here either. It doesn't look like it's going to be too light so we got like a couple of hours till it gets dark we'll see how it is. Hope we get a good night's sleep. Got a big drive tomorrow. Bear, do you like the cracker bear? Yeah. Alright it's about nine o'clock and it's still really light here which I'm trying to get used to it getting dark so late here but um most of the cars are gone it's pretty quiet and uh I think it'll be pretty good to sleep tonight. Is that tire looking flat to you? Maybe a little bit. I might have to go pump it up tomorrow morning before yeah. we leave. Okay, so the next unwritten rule that we've learned is definitely to be discreet uh, and quiet, obviously. Don't get your generator out. Don't get your slides out if you're in an RV. Like, just, you know, make it look like you're not making yourself at home, I think. We have seen quite a few people that have gone a bit overboard and like set up full homes in Walmart parking lots don't be that guy <laughs> yeah when we got here there was a van parked right next to us and they had there was two guys in it and they had a generator going we didn't know what the sound was when we got here and then we saw that they had their generator outside their van I don't know what they were doing um, recharging some batteries or something but luckily they're gone now because we thought we we're gonna have to move it's just gonna be too loud to sleep but um they're all gone there's just one other RV next to us, it looks like a family and they're all like kicking a soccer ball around. They look like they're having a good time. They've probably had dinner. It's actually not a bad spot to sleep. Like it's pretty quiet and um, you get a really good meal and they're pretty welcoming to RVers and uh, van life people. So we're just gonna take Bear for a walk and then uh, try and get some sleep and figure out where we're going tomorrow because we don't have a campsite or anything booked tomorrow. So we might be doing this again tomorrow in the parking lot somewhere. <laughs> Know myself. <laughs> what did you do? Peach cobbler with ice cream. With ice cream? Well, he said it came with ice cream, yeah. I think so. Awesome. It was only five dollars. Gotta support them. Oh, this looks good. Not huge. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Bear thinks we got him a treat. Oh, Bear, you look so cute. He ate all his treats today as well. For some reason I thought it'd be warm. Is it not meant to be? Well, you got it takeaway, so... They're assuming probably that you'd heat it up at home, but we don't have a microwave. It's not like cold, cold. Room temp? Yeah. Yeah. Because pies delicious, just sit though. at room temp. Is that good, man? Yeah, it's just school kids. <laughs> so I'm all ready for the day. I've freshened up and everything. This just reminds me of another unwritten rule that we learned for camping in parking lots. If you are going to use the bathroom in the establishment, so here at Cracker Barrel, don't brush your teeth in there. Don't be bathing in the sink. That tends to ruin it for everybody and usually that's when they start putting like locks on bathrooms and just limiting it. So it kind of ruins it for other people to, that actually just want to use the bathroom. We're lucky because we have one in the RV so we don't have to worry about it. But if you are in a van, you will have to use probably Probably the restroom inside so if everyone just keeps it low-key then everyone will be able to continue using it didn't have the best sleep 
Hey, uh, did you? No, it's awful actually. It was so loud at about 5 a.m. Yeah, right before the sun came up. So I'm guessing 5 a.m. because the sun comes up pretty early here. Delivery trucks showed up and they were unpacking all their deliveries for like, felt like an hour maybe. Yeah. They were talking and that and not being purposefully loud, but um, it was really loud. Then a second one came at like maybe 6.30. So yeah, didn't have the best sleep. It was free and we got a really good meal. So I'm pretty happy with that. We're just taking Bear for a walk and we're just gonna get out of here. We've already spent our money here. We're not gonna overstay our welcome, which is the last unwritten rule for sleeping in a parking lot, especially Cracker Barrel. Don't overstay your welcome. You wanna stay for maximum like 12 hours. We've actually been here a bit longer because it's like eight o'clock now. If we're gonna hit the road and figure out where we're staying tonight because we have no idea. See you later, Cracker Barrel. See you, Cracker Barrel. I'm so tired. I've yet to have a good sleep in a parking lot. Just keep that in mind if you're gonna use this <laughs> unwritten rules. I feel like that should probably be one that you're not gonna have a good sleep, but it's free, it's easy and reliable. And so far it's been very safe for us as well. So subscribe.